Welcome back to We Race Diecast. Tonight, it is do or die for the final eight drivers of the series. We are going to crown a champion. Stay tuned, as we got a lot of racing to get through. Trust me, you do not want to miss the finish to this huge tournament. Then, next week, the wait is over. We kick off the YouTube Diecast series and watch as the 16 qualifiers travel across three different tracks. Make sure you check out the other two participating tracks, subscribe, and get ready for a showdown. Lastly, this series is sponsored by Merch by Meekin. They make some awesome track accessories. Check them out. Link in the description. All right, folks, buckle up and get ready. Let's meet semifinal group one. All right, here we go with semifinal group one. First up is Sam Hall from DRT3K in the Orange Ford Focus. Next up is Didi from Big Al's Customs in the white number 16 CRX. Then we got DJ, representing We Race Diecast, a Shiloh Thomas build, in the purple Mercedes. And finally, Captain John, from Jack John and Katie Racing, in the multicolored CRX. Sam and Didi will get the front row start for race one. DJ and John in the back. Top two drivers will advance to the finals. Here we go. Didi out of the gate a little quicker, but Sam able to stay out front. And DJ goes wide. From the back, moves up two positions. DJ trying to hunt down Sam. Can't get there in time, and Sam will pick up the win. Only three get across the line. Captain John a little loose out of turn five and stalls on the bridge. John, a member of the Jack, John, and Katie team. All three team drivers making it this far into the tournament. Now in trouble with the DNF for race one. But plenty of time to recover. We got three more races and Sam on top with five. Race two. John moves up with Didi for a chance to make up for that DNF. Sam and DJ in the back. John falls back as Didi leads the way. Sam right behind. Some contact and Sam goes over. John gets around, DJ smacks into Sam and he's back on his tires. What a recovery and an assist by DJ. They all get to the line and Sam able to save some points thanks to DJ. Can't afford any DNFs at this stage in the game. DD well out in front with the win. Let's take another look at it. Sam tries going inside on DD but gets blocked and then rammed in the back and goes over. Spun around by John and DJ cracks him straight. He's able to recover and finish the race. Because of that recovery, Sam stays on top in points. Tied with Didi. DJ and Captain John just back a few. We got two more races to go. Race three. Back two in points in the front row. John and DJ with their chance to get back in this. Didi and Sam in the back. Outside looking fast out of the gate, but John holds off DJ and leads them out. Didi with a little pressure, but stays back in third. DJ now trying to make a move, but John able to finish strong and pick up the win. A well needed win for John and look how close the points are. All four drivers within two points. This comes down to the final lap and anyone can win it. Who will get the front row advantage? Let's go. Final lap, DJ and Sam out front, Captain John and Didi in the back. Points are tight, here we go. Sam able to beat DJ out of the curve, and look at Didi on the inside, moves up front. Didi gets into the wall, Sam goes under him, makes the pass, oh, but Sam gets loose, and DJ comes around and steals it. What just happened? That was three lead changes in one lap. DJ picks up the win, Sam in second, then DD and John. Wow. DJ starting on the pole, falls back to third, keeps his composure, and when Sam slips up, makes his move and banks the win. That's how you do it. DJ earns the points to move on, but we got a tie for second place. DD and Sam Hall will go 1v1 to battle for that second spot in the finals. Unfortunately for Captain John, he's officially eliminated. The first Jack, John, and Katie driver to be out. Congrats to him, hell of a run in the series, but let's get to the tiebreaker. First to win two races will move on to the finals. D 
Didi in the pole for being ahead prior to race four. Here we go. Didi wins the race to the turn and will lead it. Fairly close run. Didi's starting to break away and will take race one. One more win and Didi moves on. Sam now in the pole position. Storms out front and easily beats Didi to the curb. A little loose and Didi's right back in it. Coming through turn six, keeps it straight and Sam will take it. All tied up, comes down to the final race. Didi out front once again, Sam on her tail. Didi starts to break away and leads it all the way. Didi is headed to the finals. End of the series for Sam Hall. And there is our first two finalists, DJ and Didi, making it into the top four. Don't go anywhere, we got semi-final group two and the finals coming right up. You don't wanna miss the action, make sure you like the video and let's get to the next group. All right, first up we got Tim from Jack, John, and Katie Racing, number one of two team drivers in this race in the red Mercedes. Next up is Chips Diamond from Parrots Customs in the clean yellow Honda Civic. Then we got John Receiver, number two Jack, John, and Katie team member in the M&M Brown Subaru. Lastly is Dino from Silver Fox Racing in the white Civic. Race one. Tim and Chips will start up front, John and Dino in the back. First time we have two team members in a single race. Let's see if they can use that to their advantage. Tim and John draft their way up front ahead of Chips and Dino. Tim extends his lead through turn six and will take the win with a clean opening race. Both Jack, John and Katie team members finishing up front followed by Chips and Dino. Tim will lead the group in points with five. John right behind. Three laps to go. Chips and Dino will need to take advantage of their front row starts to stay competitive with Tim and John. Here we go with lap two. Chips and Dino up front this time. Tim falls back with his team member, John. Dino getting hung up on the wall. Both Tim and John able to get around. Dino not able to recover. That's a tough break for Dino. That might end his night. They come around the final turn. Tim right there, but not able to get past Chips. And Chips picks up the win. John cruises it in for third. Dino hung up in turn two, will pick up the DNF. Dino comes strong off the gate, maybe a little too strong, and gets hung up on the cliff facing wall. Not a place you want to spend your time. Luckily, we have had zero incidents off that wall. A few coming close, so track crews are definitely tracking the risk. I'm sure we'll get some sort of protective barrier in the future just to prevent any accidents. That's a long drop. Chip's able to move in a second ahead of John after picking up the win. Tim stays on top and Dino back at one point. Having a tough night. Let's see if he can muster up a run to get back in this. Two more laps. Race three. Dino in the pole position, John on his side. Chips and Tim in row two. Dino not able to hold off John and Tim is off track. This might be the break Dino and Chips were looking for. John stays out front. Clean run through turn six and takes the win. Unfortunately for Tim, he gets a DNF and as the points leader, that is gonna close the gap for the rest of the group. Looked like Chips and Tim trade a little paint and Tim goes hard into the inside wall and off track. And that DNF moves Tim down to third in points. Top three in points really close, but the team members John and Tim will start lap four up front. That means Chips is gonna have to make some moves if he wants to maintain second or better. One lap to go. John and Tim up front and looking to stay that way. Dino a non-factor, but Chips definitely needs a good jump here to try to move up into second or better. Tim leads him out from the outside and Chips not able to follow through. John giving Tim a little pressure. Tim gets it in the inside wall and John gets around. 
Come around turn six. John moves over and Tim gets by for the win. Tim picks up the win followed by John, Chips, and then Dino. With how close the points were, I think John realizes it and gives the nod to Tim to go by for the win. Had Tim finished in second, he would have tied with Chips and we would have had a runoff. Definitely some teamwork there in the end to ensure they both move on to the finals. Wow. And that's the end of the road for Chips and Dino. Great runs. But tonight, John and Tim moving on. And that means that's two of three drivers from the team able to make the top four with a field of 72 in the main series. That is impressive to say the least. Let's see if they can win this thing. We got the finals coming right up. Let's go. Championship round, here we go. John and Tim teammates will start up front for race one. DJ and Didi in the back. It's all or nothing, no more moving on. The winner will be the champion, here we go. John and Tim tight through the turn. John able to squeak it out in a nice battle for third in the back. DJ able to hold on to third, Didi not making it easy. And the Jack, John and Katie boys are out front. Another clean run, John picks up the win, followed by Tim, DJ and Didi. Didi was on it out of turn one. Gave John a little tap, but just couldn't get around DJ. He was all over him though. Great effort despite a last place finish. John and Tim lead them off again after race one. We got three more to go. Race two, we got Tim and Didi up front. John slides back with DJ. Tim and John wasting no time getting out front again. This time Tim in the lead. Front three starts to tighten up. No change in positions and Tim picks up the win. John in second, Dee Dee and then DJ. Back to back for the JJK Racing Club. Very impressive to see how well the teammates race together and put up points. Both on top at eight with a wide margin going into race three. DJ and Didi in a little trouble now with two to go. Race three, Didi and DJ now get their chance in the front row. Tim and John in the back. DJ quick off the line, but Didi able to slingshot around the turn and take the lead. And they are gone. Definitely can sense some urgency as they speed down the track. Come around the final turn. Didi not letting up and picks up the win. Followed by DJ. Tim gets in. Not sure what happened to John, but looks like he's able to get to the line as well. Both Didi and DJ able to capitalize on starting up front. Didi getting the better deal with the win and is now competitive with Tim and John. Just a two point gap between the top three drivers. DJ back four points on the leader. One more lap to go, who's gonna take it? This is potentially the last lap of the series. Here we go, DJ and John up front, Didi and Tim in the back. It's close to the turn, and John able to stay out front. Tim boxes out DD in the back, trying to get under DJ as well, but can't get there. DJ gets spun around, and John is gone. DJ and Tim nose to nose around the final turn, and DJ will pick up second. John picking up the win, and that will likely do it. DJ in second, Tim, and then DD. And John does have the points, and he will be the champion. Followed closely by teammate Tim, the Jack, John, and Katie racing team coming in clutch, taking both first and second for the series. Very impressive results, two of three drivers winning first and second place overall. Congratulations. Didi from Big Al's Customs tied for third with DJ, who is representing We Race Diecast. Great runs to make it this far, but the JJK race team able to dominate and win this thing. This officially caps off the Hatchbacks Tournament. We hope you enjoyed the show. It's been a long one, but make sure you tune in next week as we kick off the YouTube Diecast series with some of the best Diecast racing channels on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching and supporting us. If you got the time, check out the rest of our catalog of races, and we'll see you next week in the next video.